at the end of the day, it's worth it because you look back and you can see your work. And it's worth it, man. It really is. You got to put money into your life and you'll get the returns as long as you get there and work hard. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Elite Landscapes Life Stories. It's Monday morning. It was cold. <laughs> 8 o'clock this morning, it was like 25 degrees here in Virginia Mountains. So I wasn't in a rush to get out here, and now it's almost 11 o'clock. Me and Dalton had a good breakfast, and now we're ready to rock it out. We got three properties we're going to hit today, and the last property has a lot of long boxwood hedge trimming going on so you guys love that property also beautiful long stripes let me show you something real quick because uh getting these mowers ready each season takes a lot of money let me show you what i got going on so this is the back tire <laughs> that's the tread i got left which is like none And for those of you that haven't replaced tires yet, they're 143 each for this size tire, the 26 by 12s. So I've got two new ones sitting at the garage at home. And that little dude cost me an additional, I think, 150 for the front coaster tire. Let me show you. So on the Freedom Z Pro and many others, this, the bearings go bad in it. Okay. Man, not all the time, but I replaced that one like two, three years ago. Finally had to replace this one. This comes in a whole piece. And, uh, <laughs> 150 for a tire like that. Yeah, so, overall, with the maintenance that you saw me do that video on, which was almost $400 for all that stuff, and the tires, another $500, an additional 60 to get them mounted so yeah if uh if you don't know this already it takes money to make money so don't feel bad about it you'll make that money back in your first couple of days mowing grass and the machines will last a long time before you have to service them again so it's not real green but we're ahead of schedule this year because the grass is growing everywhere. We're gonna cut this at three and a half and the other properties are tall and fluffy and green. <laughs> Stick around. And while we're talking about spending money, I didn't really want to invest in a brand new truck. But, you know, your truck is your very first employee out the gate every single day. If you can't depend on that truck, my mental state is not good, okay? I'd much rather put in the budget, know how much it costs, and have nothing else to worry about the rest of the season and live in comfort and style because I'm in that truck when I am at my house for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, we're off to the next two. We'll check in. All right, so as you already know, we just talked about numbers. In the last video, we talked about my old Dodge. So that's another 2,500 that we tried to do a Band-Aid fix on an old truck. 
and four hundred hours for the mowers, five hundred hours for the tires. It just keeps on going, but at the end of the day, it's worth it because you look back and you can see your work. And it's worth it, man. It really is. You gotta put money into your life, and you'll get the returns as long as you get there and work hard. I'll check back in. That's what that wet, thick, springtime, tall turf fescue does to it. <laughs> Cakey. This yard gets fertilized. Nice and heavy. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. This guy, he always lowballs everything, so he won't go with us. But I could have his yard blinging out the same way if he wanted it. It would only be $80 or a mowing and we'd eat. But that's all right. No harm done. It's not my house. And uh, I don't mow this one anymore. And I don't even mow that one anymore. They went with uh, a different, smaller company. Saved money this year. It is what it is. We lost them last year. And we gained them back six weeks later. So... We'll just see how this year goes on for both of these people. We'll check back in. So uh, let's not forget the 540 hour brand new set of hedge trimmers and five, 600 hours, 600 hours spent that day on wheelbarrows and edging spades. <laughs> the list keeps rolling if I keep thinking about it. Uh, the $2,000 down payment on this new Ford. So it just keeps rolling through guys. But hey, be thankful that you have the expense money to put out there and just keep life rolling and keep life rolling. We're not here to make it rich. We're not going to be millionaires mowing grass. But if you can accomplish it the right way and be extremely efficient, productive, and smart about how you bid these jobs, life will keep on rolling for you. So we're at this big beautiful property that we love to stripe up you can still see some stripes from last year matter of fact and uh yeah the grass up there <laughs> that's where the little german shepherd puppies live as you've seen plenty of videos of that grass is really uh sasquashed out <laughs> so we'll check back in i'm supposed to trim those boxwood hedges up there which i got all sorts of videos on that stuff that's that's a hardcore mission right there so after we after working all weekend even sunday till eight o'clock at night i'm a little bit tired but uh my wonderful soulmate made an amazing lunch and enough to eat it twice so we will survive we'll check back in that'll be all striped up and beautiful
so it's a little bit after five o'clock now. I guess the message of the day is no matter what's hitting you hard in your bank account right now, don't worry about it, okay? I learned a long time ago, I wasted a whole lot of good energy and a whole lot of time worrying about situations that I had no control about. Okay, so do your best to just clear your mind, rely on God, universe, the powers that be, rely on them to take care of the situation, just keep on grinding away, even if it's Saturday, Sunday, and now Monday. Those bushes I just showed you, I figured I was gonna be able to come up here and have energy to trim for the next three hours. Yeah, not today. I'm exhausted, so. That's like a whole day's worth of work for two guys up there anyways to get the whole place pimped out for the season. Like I always say, try your best to be good, always be kind, and above all, love each other. Lee Landscape Style. Peace.